Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a couple things going on, but we'll get into that later. Stay tuned to the channel. We have an unboxing, overview, and installation of this cooler right here. So it's the Freezer Extreme by Arctic Cooling. We're going to be pinning this up against another air cooler, stock air cooler, and that $45 AIO that I worked with earlier, and we're going to see how well they do. So, I definitely invite you guys to come along for the ride, and let's take a look at this bad boy and see if it's worth it. So let's take a really quick look here at the Freezer Extreme by Arctic Cooling. First things first is we do have that six-year warranty. This is AM4 compatible. Spoiler alert, I've already actually checked couple things about it so the one thing that I do like about it is you see here it's actually a 140 millimeter tall the reason why is this fan right here I'll put this down here or even the fan right here sits further down closer to the base so it's still a 120 millimeter fan but you definitely get a lot more uh, we're rocking uh, aluminum fins no surprise there uh, four heat pipes total I guess on each side yeah uh, they are six millimeter each 160 watt is its total cooling capacity. So that's kind of why I got it. I think it should be pretty good. But let's quickly unbox this guy here. So, first things first, something just to keep everything in place, nothing crazy. And then let's turn this bad boy on its side here. Let's pull it out like nice and slow, right? Mm. So, the only difference between this and what you guys would receive is you guys will actually get pre-applied paste on the bottom. I did not, but I'm using my own paste for my testing. This is an Intel bracket, so we can put that aside. But it is a really beefy cooler. So you have two towers with a single fan here. So that's pretty pretty nice. I think this should should perform pretty well. Um, overall, looking at the heat fins or heat pipes here, nothing super crazy. The fan, okay, what happens is, is you squeeze both sides here. So let me see if I can do this on camera for you guys. You can pull it right out. And that's essential because, at least for AM4, you have to screw down here and then, where's that? Over here. So having access to that is definitely really important. Now, let's take a look at some of the goodies here for you guys. Uh, we have a user manual. We have an English and Dutch. So this actually, I did consult earlier so this is definitely useful here we do have that and then for me I'm gonna use the AMD bracket versus the Intel bracket and I think with Intel like I said you do have that back plate so well that's kinda of what she looks like I'm gonna show you guys how to install her so let's go take a look as always guys make sure you keep yourself grounded while doing this so this one's actually pretty straightforward I was gonna do the thermal paste first but I'll wait on that a uh, couple things. So first things first is we need to grab the AMD mounting hardware. So that's going to be the one that is labeled AMD. Okay. Now, next thing. Let's go ahead and grab our cooler here. Once we empty out the revenants of what's in that bag. And this one's quite simple. So we talked about these slots earlier. So the fan's still removed. What you can do is you can drop the screw not on the motherboard no you can drop the screw in just like that take a screwdriver not the big one no, no, it's fine I'll use it and place on the, on the head there that way you can kinda hold on to it and you just need to give a couple little turns don't want to do it super far just enough to hold it because you're going to need this free on both sides to be able to actually mount it and then you can apply pressure so we're going to grab our second one here grab our screwdriver to hold it down So. Also able to hold the tire thing here. A couple screws. Now this will these will spin freely. That's fine. Just be uh, cautious of whenever you're installing. 
we're going to put our thermal paste on. I'm using the same exact thermal paste for all my tests. It's because I have a ton of this exact brand. So I'll do the line method. Um, it works. There's always arguments on which one's better, but it works. So we're going to go ahead and place this down on the processor. And all we have to do, as you can see here, is just get that over the lip. Do the same thing for the other side. It's very helpful if you remove your graphics card. So I did do that first from experience. So what you do is you just get both of these over on each side. That's why you don't want to tie this all the way down. You just want to tie the edges down. And here's the trick. Get that going a little bit and then get this one going a little bit. You want to make sure you have even pressure as you get this mounted so it spreads a thermal paste as evenly as possible. So what's happening is the screw is getting threaded through the mounting point there. Just make sure you don't over tighten and strip the screw. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this really quick here. So you guys can see down in there where the two screws are. So we are good there. Then from there, all we need to do is take our fan as such, uh, make sure it's going the right way, route the cable down, and push in the sides. You're good there. And then run your cable to the CPU header up here. Now, ignore the GPU over here, but it's installed. Yeah, it's actually was pretty straightforward. So um, that's it. That is how you get this going. So hopefully uh, this will help you guys out a lot. Thank you guys for tuning in to probably my first unboxing overview install, all three in one. I kind of figured that would be better than just doing an unboxing and install video. Just get it all done at once. It didn't take super long, but thank you guys for tuning in. I have to say, this thing does look really cool. I really, really, really hope it doesn't uh, let me down, but we'll find out. We're going to be getting those results for you here very shortly. But if you liked the video, liked it. If you didn't like it, definitely dislike it. Let's talk in the comments. Let me know if you like these how-to videos because that was bread and butter how my channel got you know, a little bit of popularity over the years, my how-to videos. If you want to buy that cooler or that case, which I just did a review on, go check it out, the Entermax. ECA 3520. I have a review on that, but definitely go buy that good case. Everything's in Amazon description below. But as always, this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions. I'll see you guys later on down the road.